Good morning. So we stayed at this motel last night. The Bear Bridge Motel, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It's a nice cozy room. It took a little while for the hot water to come on. Um, usually I wouldn't care, but I was soaking wet yesterday and freezing. Um, but that's the only thing that was bad. Um, it is run by a well, so it takes a little while. Um, but unlimited hot water was amazing. Oh, so they were supposed to get us, and we called them for like an hour, and nobody. Oh yeah, the, the other phone. thing about this place is they offer shuttles. We got to the inn yesterday, called them. Um, no one was in yet. They didn't answer the phone, so we had to order an Uber. While we were waiting for the Uber, they called back and said, "Okay, we can shuttle you." I'm like, "Well, too late. We already called the Uber." Yeah, I think it's because like the main guy, the husband or whatever, who it is, mm -hmm. I think he's out of town for a week. Oh, it's because her husband's out of town. But when he's back, it's probably smooth sailing. Yeah. So we're back at the inn. The inn is that building over there. We got dropped off here back to where we were yesterday. And uh, there's supposed to be a zoo right on trail here. It says zoo over here. So basket says there's gonna be a bear that I can see at the zoo, right? Supposedly, yeah. Yeah. Last shelter, so. I don't know, he might be ahead of us, he might still be behind. Alright guys, they're trying to give us a lesson on poison ivy. All parts of this plant here cause a painful rash, so stay away. Leaves of three, let them be. Hairy rope, don't be a dope. Oh my lord, my day was just made. Look how cute the little foxes are. They're so cute, my gosh. Oh my god, my day was just made. They're, they're just... here because they were injured by a car. Oh. Both of them. So they're rehabbing them. They're rehabbing these foxes. They're injured by a car. Oh. Oh, that's sad. But at least they're here, you know. They're being taken care of. That's really sad. The red fox. Aww. So that right there, guys, is a bear. Right over this fence. So we made it through the museum without getting attacked by any bears. And now we gotta go over this bridge here. Oh man, going over a bridge, whoo! He's a little orange. I'm doubling up on the ponchos. That's how bad the rain is. Yeah, it's been a rainy, wet day all through the zoo. Low 40 degrees. And then once once we're out of the zoo, it started raining. <laughs> Dancing orange. Dancing fruit for you. There we go. Nice baskets. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do the Macarena. Good morning guys. So this is my tent set up from yesterday. Uh, yeah, it started pouring, raining, so we set up here. Nice spot. And then we're gonna head out soon. So we did a few miles already. Baskets is over by the river cambling up and uh, getting some water. Um, it's a very cold, wet day today. I'm trying to figure out what to buy to send to the post office in Connecticut, I think is the next one. Um, I'm definitely thinking about getting some leggings. 
I lost my gloves, so I have to get new gloves. Um, maybe an extra pair of socks. Because um, last night was very cold. I was shivering. But... And then this morning we watched Hawk's last video of him in the whites. He's this guy that's yo-yoing the Appalachian Trail this year. He's already in the whites and uh, he had to go off trail and get some snowshoes. So that's making me a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Um, but we'll see what it looks like when we get there and then figure out what we're going to do. But uh, I'm trying not to worry about it and enjoy my time here. But it's hard because that's coming up soon. So the trail's been wet, not really too crazy of terrain, maybe like some rollers. Basket stopped to go to the bathroom and I hiked out a little bit. Um, but after everything that happened down in Virginia with the murder that happened and the assault on the girl, um, it does shake you up. Like I start walking by myself and after like 10 minutes, I want to wait for baskets, whereas before I just let him catch up to me. It's just, uh, you know, you just want to stick together more after something like that happens. Even though, you know, stuff like that don't happen all the time. So the odds of that happening up here are still very slim, but it just shakes you up a little bit, I guess. Um, I've been really lucky to be able to hike with baskets. We both have each other's back and take care of each other. And same with Nope. Um, so I'm very grateful for them, um, and I'm really glad that I met him because I would have started March 21st and probably would have hiked a lot slower because I didn't really know I was capable of hiking fast until I met Baskets, and he pushed me a little bit, and then I, like, realized that, oh, I can do these miles this fast, um, so I probably would have been stuck in that area, maybe, possibly, if I didn't meet baskets and hike with them. But, um, yeah. My heart goes out to all of those families down there that's dealing with that. And all of the hikers down there. So, it's something I think about all the time since I heard about it. Because it took me a little longer to hear about it because I'm all the way up north. I think I found out about it, like, two days after everybody. Um, but, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Just gotta keep your eyes open. Don't camp by roads. Um, stealth camp if you have to, away from other people. Um, do what you gotta do to keep yourself feel safe and comfortable. When someone creeps you out, hike away. Don't keep talking to them or engage in conversation. Just feel act like you're busy or something and hike off. Um, do what you got to do to be safe. Pretend like there's a, if you're hiking alone, tell them, oh, my friend is right behind or my friend's right up there or something. Make it so that you seem like you're not alone. Social media, post your stuff, delay it a bit. Um, and then just do what you got to do to keep yourself safe. The terrain is being a little nice to us today. This little flat patch right here. And then we're gonna try to find a nice lunch spot to dry out our stuff. Cause everything got soaking wet yesterday. Yeah. So no sunny spot available to dry out anything because it's still wet and cold. It's about 43 degrees out. It's gonna start raining in a few hours. So yeah, it's cold. Three days of cold rain. Yep. That's life on the AT for you. Miserable conditions. Miserable, miserable. Well, what can you do? First good view of the day is like a lake from the mountain. And there's a little beach down in there. Hey guys, so yesterday we made it down. Hey guys! 
to Stormville, New York, the little town here. We got pizza and hot chocolate and cookies. And then they let you camp at the little road, off the little road down from it. So that's what we did. And the sun is out. It's gonna be a nice two days. So that's awesome. I've been getting really uh, upset with all the cold rain. I was like freaking out. I thought I'd have to mail some layers. I probably still will mail some layers to myself. Um, but yeah, this is our tent set up. And we're gonna go back to Little Story, get some coffee and breakfast and be on our way. Hey Baskets. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, we're gonna get breakfast at the Little Appalachian Trail Deli. Yeah, what are you gonna get? I don't know, I might get like a New Jersey pork roll or something. You, this is New York. This is uh, New York. Yeah, well, New York pork roll. Yeah. <laughs> so we got <laughs> so we got some breakfast sandwiches. Nope's not here. So either he went past here or early bird's no longer an early bird. No, he's gonna go. He's gonna walk in there. You think so? I know so. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he ate so much Chinese food last night that he couldn't get up this morning. Maybe. I don't know. He doesn't like Chinese food. Oh, he doesn't? He didn't order anything. Uh oh. So we're back on trail. We hit this tree. Look at that. You want me to go there for size? Sure. There's baskets. And there's the big tree. came across this lake and I think the trail is going to be right up on the lake for a while which is going to be really nice nice out my clothes mostly my socks because my feet are all wet yeah. getting some Doritos Bass has dried out his feet and then we'll be on trail very soon. So today's been a great day. Still enjoying the sun. We're walking on some boardwalk right after we had a big muddy patch. We're headed to a road that somewhere on there they have uh, uh, food trucks and ice cream. So I'm excited for ice cream. My sister just texted me, she broke her wrist and is in the hospital. She has a little baby, so once we get up there, I'm gonna give her a call, hopefully she's okay. Uh, but it's hard to keep in touch with my family out here. You only get so long to talk to them, and you only get to read their texts every so often because you're, you're trying to save battery for however many stretch of days you got. So hopefully she doesn't get offended, I haven't called her yet. I want to call her as soon as I can once we get off this boardwalk. But yeah, it's a really gorgeous day. The clouds back there look great. And yeah, see you later. What'd y'all find? There's a sign-in sheet. Yeah. Along with some water and some oranges in the bag. Yeah, and some hot cocoa mix. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did it say who it's from? No. No. Well, that's cool.
beautiful thing just happened. Well, a selfie is going on right now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> a beautiful thing just happened. We are now in Connecticut, the gateway to New England. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah! So, last night was a really hard night for me. Um, as we we're getting to camp, uh, that, well, I was in the tent, Baskets went to go get some water. When he came back, he's like, Julie, you won't believe it, who the person who was stabbed down in Virginia was. And, uh, I don't know why, but I was like, I was like, oh, um, the guy with the knee braces? I couldn't remember his trail name at first. I don't know why, I just happened to think that um, it was him for some reason. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Um, we hiked with him back right before Hampton, Tennessee. Um, it was that day that my chiggers were just, my, or whatever the bites were, were just blazing on my legs. I was having a difficult day trying to keep up with everybody because my legs were just so bad. I had to stop and put mud on them. And um, that's the day we met him. And uh, Baskets was hiking with him a lot because he was hiking fast. Stronghold was hiking fast. And Baskets was trying to keep up with him and he was like, man, that guy's so fast. And uh, finally, when I caught up with them and we were at a shelter, there was a shelter right before Hampton, Tennessee. And we were sitting there eating, and uh, he, was, he had the two knee braces. He said that he was uh, doing easy on the miles. He goes fast, but he does shorter miles because uh, his knees are still recovering. And I think he was supposed to get some surgery or something done. I don't remember exactly. We were eating with him that night. He decided to stay at the shelter. and. We hiked on because I really had to get into town that night to get something for the, the bites on my legs. So we kept going into Hampton. Um, I drew I drew a big heart on that shelter's uh, graffiti board. I remember that. It was the first time I really signed in anywhere, or, like drew anything on anything. Um, yeah, last night it was really hard to sleep at night because I kept thinking of him and his family. Uh, it was really hard when you're out here and somebody that you know, you find out uh, was murdered like that. It's really, really unsettling. And uh, I called my mom this morning. I wanted to come home. Uh, she was like, nope, you're not coming home. You gotta finish for him and her that was attacked. You gotta keep going. So it's hard out here with that on your mind. Uh, but uh, you gotta just keep going and know that it's safe it was just one crazy messed up experience and the odds of that happening again are slim so you just got to keep that on your mind and keep going and know that the community out here is great and yeah so thanks to my mom i'm not going home but it's definitely on my mind this morning for sure first time i ever felt like i wanted to go home so it is another sunny, beautiful day today. We are hiking to Kent, Connecticut, where we will get some ice cream, possible shower, and possible Chinese food, which I'm excited for. And uh, yeah, it's a good day today. Welcome center. We're gonna try and take some showers here. Woohoo! It had a fantastic time in Kent. Got to hang out and dry all our stuff out. Got some ice cream and some food. Now we're back on trail. It's 
So we're coming up to a really beautiful view up here called Caleb's Peak. What are you doing, Basket? Just trying to see the view before me. Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> oh, what a beautiful view. Is it pretty? Oh, wow. Let me see. Oh. Hmm. That's the life right there. Everyone has it. They've got it. Yeah. They've got the views. they got the pretty town. Look at the foliage here. Unbelievable. You'd be hiking every day. You'd never get bored of the scenery. Gorgeous day today in Connecticut. Take your kayak down that river. Float for forever and ever. We got a pretty steep section. We got a pretty steep section right here. Connecticut scrambling. Oh, be careful. It was slippery with all the leaves. Mm So we slept at Stewart Hollow Shelter last night. We set up camp a little bit down there. We're sorting out our food, snacks for the day. And then we'll head out on trail. My breakfast coordination. Yeah. So it's telling us that we're gonna have to do the blue trail because it's unsafe to do the water crossing of the brook because of high water right now. So we'll check it out and then make a decision for ourselves. So if you haven't guessed it already, we decided to ford the river here. I had to take my shoes and my socks off and I made it across. So, saved us point four detour. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Where are you? I can't find you. Oh, you're up there. <laughs> Yay, so, it started raining back there, and then it eventually stopped raining. You didn't miss much. There was a lot of rollers that kicked my butt. And then we went downhill into like a little uh, repair shop for cars. And we got some um, sodas from the soda machine. And then now we're hiking. I saw Nope by the repair guy. And I was like, hey, Nope. And he came over and now he's hiking with us. Although he did go up ahead because we're at the sign in. Sign in booth here. Baskets just signed in, I signed in. And yeah, today's a good day. We already did about almost 20 miles and it's only about four o'clock, so that's good. We're gonna aim to do high miles today to get us closer to uh, Great Barrington, right? Going into Great Barrington. Yeah, going into Great Barrington, Massachusetts tomorrow. So, gotta put in the work today to make it easier on us tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys later. Good morning guys. Today we are going into Great Barrington, Massachusetts and we were crossing another border today so I'm really excited. Yesterday was a great day. It was sunny most of the day and then we did a 20 plus day and uh, yeah today it's a little chilly in the morning but I'm sure it's gonna warm up soon and we'll see what today brings. So we did a little bit of road walking this morning and then now we're back on a on trail on a little field and we also found our friend nope 
He's over there in the pink shorts, if you didn't know who he was. Whew. So we are on a big climb right now. It's called Bear Mountain in Connecticut. It's the highest peak. So hopefully we'll get a good view. We're already getting good views, but it's probably even better view up on the top. Woo -hoo. This is a big climb. <sighs> So this is the top of the peak, the plaque. There's no words on it, really. This monument marks the highest ground in Connecticut. 2,357, I think, feet. It's hard to read. Yep. So we not only hit 1,500 miles today, we are now in Massachusetts. We crossed the border line a little bit ago. I forgot to videotape it because there was a distracting river crossing over there. But I made it across and I took a picture there. And now we're headed to Great Barrington still. Um, I think we got about 13 miles to Great Barrington. We might go in in 10 miles. We'll see how we feel, what pace we do. We wanna make sure we get there with enough time to do laundry. So we'll see. Um, see you guys later. Woo, look at that. Gorgeous view up here. Gorgeous. Massachusetts for you. How you liking Massachusetts baskets? Oh yeah. Look at this. That's right. one of the best bridge walks you're gonna get. Let's check it out. Right on the side of the drop off. Checking it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Gorgeous view. So we made it to Great Barrington. Um, a guy, Kevin and his wife, picked us up. One of um, Bassett's friends who helped him out in 2017 came and got us up from trail, brought us to town. We checked in at the Days Inn and now we're at the laundry place doing laundry. Nope's in town staying at the rec center. Um, he realized he lost his poles and Detective Baskets is going back in his he video footage. At 8 a.m. he has the polls. Baskets is being a detective, checking all of his video footage to see when exactly Nope lost his polls. Apparently around 8 a.m. he had his polls. Baskets is looking at the videos now. We're gonna we're gonna find these polls. We're gonna find out where he left his tent polls. Um, but Kevin brought him to Walmart, and right now he has little kid tent poles. He got a kid's tent because he wants to use those poles for his tent. I don't know if it'll work, but we could probably figure out where he lost his poles and maybe someone can go back and get them for him. We'll see. 